100 years, 100 people in the water behind us, symbolizing the pain and the somber mood that's going on here right now. You take a look, you can see 100 people connected in inner tubes in the lake area there. They're being watched by lifeguards at this time. The organizer calling this a meditative memorial. And there were other displays of remembrance. And so we stand here today remembering him. Speakers talking about young Eugene Williams, a black teen on a homemade raft who drifted on the lake back on July 27th, 1919. An informal line of segregation existed back then at the 29th Street Beach, whites on one side, African Americans on the other. Williams drifted over. A white man hit him with a rock and the teen drowned. The man who threw the stone was identified by other African Americans the police were called and told, but refused to arrest that person. The resulting riots claimed nearly 40 lives, most of them black, and hundreds were injured. The DuSable Museum helping to educate those on the beach close to where it happened in an effort to preserve history. A chapter in Chicago's past, all hope, will never be repeated. I think it's very important uh, what has been pulled together to here the by the right Misabo Museum to actually bring to people the hi history of what has happened and, you know, read the Red Summer, which, you know, had a particular, you know, significance on this beach and in this city, although it was a national phenomenon as well. Do you think the average person on the beach knows the history, knows about what's being talked today? I honestly don't believe so. I don't. Is that a sad thing? Um, yes, part, maybe because on our part as citizens not going out to research, but also like um, schools and news stories not really covering this story as well. Now, many have written their hopes, their thoughts on this, some water-soluble paper to be tossed into the lake. There are many remembrance events going on throughout the day. Live at 31st Street Beach, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thanks so much.